morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. Looking at the MACDs, the moving averages, the day's support, resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Friday the 21st of May. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar and the hourly candlesticks. But a start to the day for Bitcoin, going to need to avoid a fall through the pivot at 39282 and break through the 38.2% Fib at 41592 to bring the first major resistance level at 43.579 into play. We'll need to see support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break out from yesterday's high, those at 42.300. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of another breakout, should see Bitcoin target 47,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level is at 46.597. Fall through the pivot, would bring the first major support level at 36.264 into play. Buying an extended sell-off on the day, Bitcoin should stick over the second major support level, sitting at 31.967. Looking at the MACDs, after yesterday's late bullish cross, got a widening of the bullish histogram supporting the early upside. On the EMA, the 50 has narrowed marginally in on the 100 and the 200, supporting the upside as well. So key would be to avoid the pivot at 39.282, break through the 38.2% FIB at 41.592 to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that and support levels will come into play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, also bullish start. Going to need to Ethereum avoid a fall through the 38.2% FIB at 2.740 and the pivot at 2644 to take a run out the first major resistance sitting at 3131. We need to see support from the broader market for Ethereum to break back through to 3,000 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, got the 23.6% FIB at 3,369 and second major resistance level at 3,488 that would likely come into play. A fall through the 38.2% FIB <clears throat> and through the pivot at 2,644 would bring the first major support level at 2,287 into play. Buying and extend itself on the day Ethereum should avoid sub 2000 levels. Second major support level sits at 1800. Looking at the MACDs, we've got a widening of the bullish histograms at the turn of the day, supporting the early upside. On the EMAs, the 50 has flattened on the 100 and the 200, but not suggestive of any bullish cross anytime soon. So, need to keep an eye on that. So, key through the early part of the day, avoid a fall through the 38.2% FIB and through the pivot at 2644. To bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that and support levels will come into play. Moving across to Litecoin against US dollar, also a positive start. Going to need to see Litecoin avoid the pivot at 204 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 240. Going to need to see support from the broader market for Litecoin to break out from yesterday's high that was at 232.99. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, got 38.2% FIB at 265 and resistance at 270 that will likely come into play. Fall through the pivot would bring the 62% Fib and the first major support level at 174 into play. Barring an extended self on the day, Litecoin should avoid sub 170s. Second major support level sits at 138. Looking at the MACDs, we have a widening of the bullish histogram at the turn of the day, supporting the early upside. On the MAs, however, still a bearish indicator. The 50 has flattened marginally on the 100 and the 200, however, so need to keep an eye on that. So key would be to avoid the pivot at 204. Break through yesterday's high 232.99 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will come into play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar, also bullish start. Going to see Ripple's XRP avoid a fall through the pivot at 1.1277 and break through the 38.2% FIB at 1.2807 to bring the first major resistance level at 1.3224 into play. We need support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 1.3 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ripple's XRP target 1.5 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 1.4632. Fall through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 0.9868 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid the 62% Fib at 0.8573. Second major support level sits at 0.7922. Looking at the MACD, we've got a widening of the bullish histogram at the turn of the day, supporting the early upside. On the EMAs, the 50 has flattened on the 100 and 200, so need to keep an eye on that. So key would be to avoid the pivot at 1.1277, break through 38.2% FIB at 1.2807 to bring resistance levels into play. 
better student and support levels will be in place.